So, what's going on in Ottawa? Uh, the tyrannical Trudeau has dug himself into a hole uh, entirely of his own making, and like all far-left politicians of low intellect, he's come out swinging. Uh, but not, needless to say, with counter-arguments about why tyranny is better for Canadians uh, than democracy and liberty. And the reason for that is because he has no argument. So... Instead, he reverts to typical leftist type and starts shrieking about Islamophobes, uh, anti-black racism, homophobia, and transphobia uh, instead. And quite what this has to do with truckers defending liberty in a peaceful and joyful manner is quite beyond me, which gives me cause to believe Trudeau might be a tad unhinged. And this belief was reinforced when I saw uh, this. Watch. Um, you're going to be able to get your vaccine as soon as you turn five. Uh, and I know you're excited and I know you're eager. Uh, in some places across the country, you can even start making your appointment now uh, for shortly after your birthday. I don't know if he's high on drugs or just high on the prospect of injecting five-year-old children. Uh, but I do know this. Uh, it is not the way a Prime Minister of a Western country is supposed to behave, and his recent bizarre behaviour is just as bad. You know, having run away from Ottawa, uh, which apparently isn't a matter of great shame to him, uh, he popped up last week to make a statement to Canadian media, uh, which sort of alternated between creepy, sinister, breathy emotion and just a pack of outright lies about the Freedom Convoy. Uh, watch here. So, yes, the concerns uh, expressed by uh, a few people uh, gathered in Ottawa right now uh, are not new, not surprising, are heard, but are a continuation of uh, what we've unfortunately seen uh, in uh, disinformation and misinformation online, conspiracy theorists uh, about microchips, about you know, God knows what else that go with the tinfoil hats. So according to Commissar Trudeau, uh, the truckers are only there because they're all conspiracy theory nutters. Now, this is blatantly uh, dishonest and malevolent. He doesn't really believe they're nutters at all. He's simply enraged because they are defying his authoritarian will by bravely standing up for liberty and democracy, uh, both of which he, Trudeau, has dictatorially trampled on for the last couple of years. And far from being just a few people with unacceptable views, as Commissar Trudeau so Stalinistly puts it, uh, here's the latest poll result showing 54% of Canadians want an end to the COVID restrictions that he is responsible for. And as for misinformation and conspiracy theories, take a look at the two following clips from Trudeau's bought and paid for uh, propagandist media. Uh, watch here. Uh, you know, given Canada's support of Ukraine in this current crisis with Russia, it, I don't know if it's far-fetched to ask, but, but there is concern that Russian actors could be continuing to fuel things uh, as, this, as this protest grows, but perhaps even instigating it from, from the outset. Officials say several investigations are underway into reports of severe vandalism and criminal behavior, including the desecration of national monuments. Mm. Meanwhile, Ottawa Mayor Jim Watson said some protesters harassed a soup kitchen demanding free meals. Be so these anti-vaxxers actually took food from the mouths of uh, the homeless. Hum hungry. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, CBC. It's the Russian bogeyman behind the Freedom Convoy. You know, perhaps Putin ordered these crazed criminals to steal food from the homeless and uh, desecrate national monuments to boot. Anyone who believes such obvious lies is either mentally unwell or a Trudeau fanatic, uh, or indeed a mixture of both, uh, as we can see here. I know you're wondering about what you saw in our capital city this weekend. As my friend Erwin Kotler said on Saturday, freedom of expression, assembly and association are cornerstones of democracy, but Nazi symbolism, racist imagery and desecration of war memorials are not. It is an insult to memory and truth. Hate 
can never be the answer. We are not intimidated by those who hurl insults and abuse at small business workers and steal food from the homeless. We won't give in to those who fly racist flags. We won't cave to those who engage in vandalism or dishonor the memory of our veterans. To anyone who joined the convoy but is rightly uncomfortable with the symbols of hatred and division on display, join with your fellow Canadians. Be courageous and speak out. Do not stand for or with intolerance and hate. And there you are, look, the old right-wing intolerance and hate again. But how much hate, how much genuine hate do you have to have in your heart to deliberately manufacture stories encouraging the hatred of those you politically disagree with, uh, comrade Justin? Uh, there was a Nazi flag on display, but it was on the balcony of a very posh hotel, uh, routinely inhabited by Canadian politicians and journalists. So your little apparatchiks planted it there to smear the truckers. Uh, but we see you, Commissar Trudeau, we see you as clear as day. There was also a Confederate flag waved around by one of those typical witless Antifa types with his face completely covered, uh, but the truckers jeered and shamed him into retreat, after which he no doubt picked up his blood money from you, Trudeau's, uh, your lickspittle political cronies, for carrying out what was basically, uh, essentially, a piss-poor false flag operation. Desecrating statues is yet another lie. Where was the supposed desecration when this statue was used to promote the homosexual agenda? You know, putting a cap on a statue along with a Canadian flag and a placard reading Mandate Freedom. Uh, that's not desecration, Mr. Trudeau, you Stalinist manipulator of the truth. And as for stealing food from the homeless, that is such a shameless lie promoted by you and your uh, fellow leftist propagandists. Canadians are actually bringing food to the convoy, which is then given away free to anyone who wants it. There are umpteen examples of this on Twitter. You're a liar, Commissar Trudeau. You're a liar. OK, what about desecrating war memorials? Here is the wicked, wicked woman in question. Watch this. I don't know about you, Commissar Trudeau, but I don't think there are any soldiers looking down upon us from heaven uh, who would consider a woman standing at the top of the steps of the... Uh, tomb to the unknown soldier and shouting freedom uh, to be anything other than a hero uh, for squaring up to your, ty uh, your tyrannical behaviour. Uh, just as those soldiers in their time stood against tyranny, they would be revolted and disgusted that you and your quizzling media outlets and quizzling police chiefs even dare to suggest she was desecrating the monument. Shame on all of you. But Trudeau has no shame. He's just a political operative for the globalist New World Order who lies and lies and lies again if he thinks he will benefit from his lies. Uh, listen to him here. I have attended protests and rallies in the past uh, when I agreed with the goals, when I supported the people uh, expressing their concerns and their issues. Black Lives Matter is an excellent example of that but I have also chosen to not go anywhere near protests that have expressed hateful rhetoric, violence towards fellow citizens. So in his warped leftist world, Black Lives Matter are good, uh, whilst Canadian truckers defending the liberty of all Canadians, uh, regardless of colour or creed, are bad. Now, the reality, of course, is that Black Lives Matter is a revolutionary communist organization uh, which behaves extremely violently towards its fellow citizens. Uh, but 19 dead people, predominantly black, uh, mean nothing to Trudeau simply because he uh, 
sympathises with their political ideology. And here he is taking the knee before this revolutionary communist uh, organisation whilst they were burning down cities, looting and shooting people, and not to mention genuinely desecrating statues. Watch. Now compare and contrast the murderous and destructive a uh, antics of Black Lives Matter, so admired by uh, Commissar Trudeau, uh, with the joyful and peaceful behaviour of the Canadian truckers, so hated by Commissar Trudeau. I'm almost done, but although I'm sure most of you have seen the video of the wonderful, amazing woman humiliating Trudeau over his, his unarguable alliance with the globalist command, uh, uh, the, with the globalist cabal command uh, centred around Schwab's World Economic Forum, uh, here it is again. You've sold us out to globalism. Okay. You are okay. not working for Canada. You are working for your globalist partners. I wonder how much they're paying you to betray Canada. Okay. What do we do with traitors in Canada, Mr. Trudeau? We used to hang them, hang them for treason. And you're doing that very same thing to us now. Okay. We okay. know what you're doing. Isn't that wonderful? Imagine being a prime minister of a Western country and giving cause by your behaviour uh, to being spoken to like that. And the amazing woman talking about hanging traitors in the past for behaving as Trudeau is behaving today uh, is quite right. We know what you're doing, Commissar Trudeau. We know what you're doing. We see you. And politicians who are not in bed with Schwab and Bill Gates and Pfizer also know what Trudeau is up to as well, and they rightly despise him for it. Uh, here's a final video clip of Trudeau being shunned by uh, Brazilian Prime Minister uh, Jair Bolsonaro. For a of flags, please look in the direction of the photographer in front of the flags. Here's something near Tardesada, please look to the back in the direction of the photographer in front of the flags. Okay, that's it. Uh, I'm off, but I'll be back soon with an update on what is happening uh, in Ottawa. And just on a final note, uh, please uh, subscribe to this channel. I'm also on Rumble, so please subscribe to that. The links are in the little box below, uh, as is a link to my Patreon page. That's it. Thank you very much.